including the Baraboo River. It's now flooding several communities like Reedsburg. New at 10, Hunter Signs takes us on a ride to give us our first look inside the flooded neighborhoods. It's a city that is partially underwater. These are people's lives floating around in here. Street after street, home after home, flooded. Absolute devastation for these people. Jason Field drove in a couple of his Dells Army duck boats to help about 24 hours ago. We're ready to do any type of water rescues uh, that were needed. Thankfully, none were, but his duck boat took us to where cars wouldn't last. Boats driven on water where cars once traveled. Walls and rooms once dry, now filled with water. Some looked on in despair at what was happening around them. Other families rushed against time, sandbagging their homes, but for some, it didn't help. Everything, everything's in there. I barely got anything out of there. I got my pets out, my two vehicles, but that's my other vehicle over there. Martha Holston can't fathom what she's lost. Terrible feeling. Medicines are lost, clothes are lost, pictures, memories, everything. Across town, others prep for more rising water, piling sandbag after sandbag as roads continue to close. This raging and rising Baraboo River has now shut down this bridge that goes through downtown Reedsburg. And Sauk County officials say it won't crest until tonight, and it won't begin to recede until sometime tomorrow morning. Relief that can't come soon enough for Martha and her neighbors. We'll bounce right back. In Reedsburg, Hunter Signs, 27 News. Down from Reedsburg, the